Today, we're going to balance the equation of aluminum solid, so Al, plus chlorine gas, Cl2, and when they come together, we're going to produce aluminum chloride, which is AlCl3. I already wrote down a chart for us, for our left and our right side, as well as the elements that I see that are on both the left and the right side, the reactants and the products. So all we have to do is just start numbering how many we have, and then we'll start balancing. Let's start with the left side. In this case, I just see that I have one aluminum, right? There's no subscript or anything, so that means I have one. But with the chlorine, I see that I have a two here. So that means that I'm starting off with two chlorines. On my product side, I have one aluminum because I don't see a number here, right? It was in like Al2. So that means I have one of them. And then for the chlorine, we do see a, a three next door. So that means that I have three chlorines. The aluminums look balanced, the chlorines do not. Usually we would try to get one lower number to the higher number, but I can't multiply anything by two by a whole number to get to three. So what's the number that these have in common? The next number up would be a six, right? If I take two and I times it by three, that will get me six. And if I take my three and times it by two, that will get me six. The numbers that you're multiplying are the numbers that turn into the coefficients in front of the elements that you're trying to solve for. In this case, I place it here because the chlorine is here. And on the other side, I'm gonna place it here because the chlorine is in this compound. So I'm gonna put a three here, and I'm gonna put a two here. And by doing that, our number is gonna change. Three times two is six, and then two times three chlorines is six chlorines. But now hold the phone because whenever you put a coefficient in front of a compound, okay, when you have multiple elements, you have to distribute. So now how many total aluminums do you have? Oh, you have two of them. So that number is going to change from a one to a two. And now I have to balance the aluminum. But I can easily now take the one and go to the two by multiplication. One times two will get me two, two. And that number that I stated is now the coefficient on this side. I'm going to put a two. And then, just to make sure we did it right, this clearly says that we have two aluminum, so I'm just going to cancel that out and put a two. And now, all the numbers are balanced. I have aluminum two on both sides and, two, and six chlorines on both sides, so we're good. So the balanced equation here is two aluminums plus three Cl2s will produce two AlCl3s. That's it, guys. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Love talking to you guys. Thank you so much for viewing the video. And if you want to help us out, press the subscribe button. All right? Thank you so much for that, and I'll see you guys in the next lesson. All right, bye-bye.